So you just got your 40 mil unit, and now you're unsure on how to set it up. In this video, we'll walk you through the basic setup procedures to get your 40 mil unit up and running as quickly as possible. We'll cover how to connect to the web UI, choose an operating mode, run the quick start wizard, and then test it all out. The first thing we'll do is connect to the unit. For this video, we'll be focusing on connecting through the web UI, but you can also connect via the CLI or the front panel's LCD display available on some models. Now we need the management computer on the same subnet as the port 1 interface of the 40 mail unit. So in Windows 10, we'll open up our network connections, right click on our connection, and then select properties. Select IPv4, and then properties. From here, we'll change the IP to 192.168.1.2, and the net mask to 255.255.255.0. Be sure your ethernet cable is connected to the 40 mil units port one. Now go to 192.168.1.99 slash admin. You may receive a couple of warnings, but don't worry. These are perfectly normal for the default certificate. Verify and accept the certificates. And in the login, enter admin. Your web UI should now appear. Now that we're here, we can select our operating mode. Your 40 mil unit can operate in three modes, gateway, transparent, and server mode. You'll typically select the best mode for your topology and requirements. Take a look at the admin guide for an in-depth breakdown of each mode. Gateway is suitable for most environments, and it's a default operating mode, so let's use that in this video. With that done, we can start the quick start wizard. Just select the drop down menu at the top, and then select system, and then wizard. A lot of this is fairly straightforward, so we'll speed through some of this on-screen options like the time settings. So for our network settings, port 1 is the IP address of the port 1 network interface. In primary DNS, we will enter the IP address of the primary server that the 40 mil unit will make DNS queries. Make sure you verify the connections with the DNS server because if you don't, you could experience a variety of problems. Enter the IP address of the secondary server to which the 40 mil unit will make DNS queries and then enter the IP address of the default gateway router. Now we enter the local domain and host name for the local 40 mil unit, and then change our password to something secure. Now we select our operation mode. We'll go with gateway since it's the default mode. Now we configure the protected domains. Protected domains define connections and email messages for which the 40 mil unit can perform protective email processing the 40 mail unit will compare connections and email messages when looking for traffic that involves the protected domains. For example, if you wanted to protect an email address such as user1 at example.com, you would enter the protected domain name example.com. Now enter the fully qualified domain name or IP address of the primary SMTP server for the protected domain and then the port value. You must configure at least one protected domain 40 mil units can be configured to protect one or more email domains that are hosted on one or more email servers. Be sure to enable SMTP recipient verification. The policy settings determine how to apply the scan policies. Inbound scans the inbound email destined to the protected domains, while outbound scans the outbound email. Review your settings in the summary screen before applying their settings. Selecting OK will reload the photo mail with the new settings. With that out of the way, you can connect 40 mil to 40 guard. To keep this video short, we won't cover that here. Instead, please see your 40 guards documentation. Once you've completed the quick start wizard, you may need to configure some items that are specific to your network topology or operating mode to your 40 mil unit. Again, we can't cover them all in this video, so see the admin guide for further details for gateway, transparent, and server mode deployment configuration. But thankfully, we've already created a video for each of the different modes where we can run you through setting up each mode. Once everything is tested and verified, be sure to create a backup. Log in to the web UI as the admin. Go to System, Maintenance, Configuration. Select Backup, and then save the configuration file to your desired destination. And that about wraps it up for the basic setup of your 40 mil unit. If you require more information on any of these procedures, be sure to consult the 40 mail admin guide. Thanks for watching and have a great day.